Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It is going to be a fall themed what I eat in a day, except it's going to be still healthy, high protein, which is how I like to eat. I like to eat high protein, high fiber. So my idea for this video is to eat that way, but to include a bunch of fall foods. It's gonna be very fall themed pumpkin, apple. I'm even gonna make a turkey chili later tonight for dinner. It is one of my favorite recipes. It's my mom's recipe. We always eat it in the fall and the winter. And I feel like it's the perfect meal to include in this video. And it's also gonna be my first like cozy soup stew chili recipe of the fall so let's just get right into it I'm about to make breakfast it's pretty late it's about noon exactly so I typically start eating pretty late in my day because I spend my morning at the gym and then I don't get home and ready and showered and cleaned up and everything until like 11 or 12 typically so I'm gonna make breakfast I did have a coffee earlier I'll include a clip here but it was a half tan from La Cologne which is half cold brew and half whole milk latte I put a pump of vanilla in there and it is so so good so that's all I've eaten today so I am pretty starving breakfast is going to be my favorite breakfast I have this every single morning except I'm gonna put a fall spin on it Okay, so it is going to be a better bagel. I love these. These are a high protein, high fiber bagel. I'm gonna do the cinnamon toast version for kind of like the fall pumpkin spice vibe. And I'm gonna pair it with this pumpkin cream cheese from Trader Joe's, which is literally so, so delicious. I had this exact breakfast a couple days ago and it's such a delicious combo. I might put some cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice on top as well. And then I always have a Greek yogurt with my bagel. So today I'm gonna pair it with this Greek yogurt, honey crisp apple cinnamon from Trader Joe's. Joe's, which again, I'm so excited for. I've never tried this, so I'll do a taste test for you guys. And then I'll probably put some berries in the yogurt as well for some extra fiber. So let's go ahead and make that. Also, if it's really loud right now, I'm sorry, my dishwasher is running. So just please ignore. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the yogurt. It actually looks really good. It smells good too. I usually don't do flavored yogurt. I usually do plain and then add stuff, but this should be a little treat. That's literally incredible. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very impressed with this. Okay, so this is the finished product. I already tried the bagel. It is so good. I loaded it up with the cream cheese, like three tablespoons, and I am so excited to eat this breakfast. We have pumpkin and apple, so it is full of the fall fruits. And for the nutrition, it is 35 grams of protein, 450 calories, 72 grams of carbs, and 15.8 grams of fat. All I really care about is the protein and fiber. So we have 35 grams of protein and 38 grams of fiber. So. It is a fantastic way to start my day. I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will see you guys at lunch or the next time I eat something. Okay, it is not lunch, but I'm gonna make myself some tea before I get to work. I just finished breakfast and I should have known I was gonna make tea before I saw you guys at lunch. So let's do some tea. I was thinking I would have this pumpkin spice tea from Trader Joe's, but it doesn't have caffeine in it and I need some caffeine. So I'm gonna have this later and just do like regular black tea for now. And we of course have to put it in a fall inspired mug. I'm thinking this one. I love this one for the little orange flowers. I think it is so fall themed while not being like outright a pumpkin or a ghost, you know? So we're gonna do some tea in this and I'll just put some stevia in it. It is time for me to make lunch and I'm gonna make a two ingredient lunch with ingredients from Trader Joe's. So first up we have the smoked apple Chardonnay chicken sausage. I feel like any apple chicken sausage is the perfect fall item because it just has that delicious apple flavor. And then I saw this from Trader Joe's and I thought it'd be the perfect pairing. It is the holiday vegetable hash. 
So it just has a bunch of like fall wintery veggies. And if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you and you are wanting to make this lunch idea, it is just butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, and rosemary. Great for sauteing or adding to soups and stuffing. So this would be super easy to just add those veggies like yourself, chop them up yourself and make this if you don't have Trader Joe's and you don't have this pre-chopped version. So I'm just gonna cook this on the stove for a little bit and then probably throw this in at some point along the way. I think that the veggies will take longer than the sausage. But yeah, it's gonna be super simple, probably like a 10 minute lunch, which is what I need for my lunches, you know? Yeah, okay, so I will take you guys along with me, show you what I'm using to like season and everything. And let's get the show on the road. I am hungry. So I just measured out the serving that I'm gonna do of this and it actually smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving in a bowl. Like stuffing, oh my gosh, yum, I'm so excited. Literally all I'm gonna do is olive oil, salt and pepper. So very simple. Here is the finished product. Let's do a taste test. That was super easy, very, very easy. And I think it's gonna be really good. Love it. I've definitely had chicken apple sausage with more of a apple-y fall flavor, but this is pretty good. And let's see what the nutrition is so this is 370 calories 33 grams of protein and then four grams of fiber so i would have liked for the fiber to be a little bit higher but not bad there's a bunch of veggies in here so i'm happy Okay, it is like 4.41 now and I'm just about to prep my turkey chili for dinner. I don't think I'm gonna eat it anytime soon, probably a few hours because I just ate lunch. But I thought since it takes a while to cook and it's one of those things that tastes better if it like sits on the stove for a while, I thought I would prep it now so that it's ready to go whenever I'm hungry for dinner. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me for this and share the recipe and the whole process. So let's do it. I think that this is everything we need, starting out with some soy sauce. This is supposed to be Worcestershire sauce or however you say it but I couldn't find that in Trader Joe's and online said that this could replace it. Then ground turkey, of course, I'm doing 93% lean. Some tomato sauce, pinto beans. The recipe says pinto beans or red kidney beans. It says a whole large carrot, but I knew I had these at home. So I'm just gonna chop this up, shred carrot. I'm gonna use minced garlic in a jar because it's so much easier. Same with already diced onion. Then it said one large zucchini. Maybe I'll do two of these because they're smaller. And then one green bell pepper. And I think that that is everything. So we are just gonna chop up everything, drain and rinse the beans, pretty much measure out all the ingredients and then get started on the chili. Oh, also this is the recipe. So it is my mom's recipe, but like she didn't make it. I don't even know where this is. Probably from a magazine or something that she cut out. So here is the recipe that I'm going to be following. veggies are all chopped up. We just have one issue. I was supposed to get a thing of tomato sauce and a thing of diced tomatoes and I only got tomato sauce. So let's hope this still turns out good. <laughs> okay, so here is how to make the chili. In a nonstick pan, brown the ground turkey until it is no longer pink in the center, set aside. In a large pot, heat the canola oil. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do olive oil spray over medium heat. Add the onion and garlic and saute for three to four minutes. Add the green pepper, carrot, and zucchini and saute for another two to three minutes. Add the cooked ground turkey, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, I don't have those, and beans and heat through. Add the Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, taste for flavor, add one teaspoon of chili powder or any or an amount to your liking. And then let sit for 30 minutes, an hour, let simmer, let cook, and let all the flavors combine nicely. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the chili is done. It looks super good. It made four servings. I have those meal prepped over there for the rest of the week, which is perfect. I'll have a high protein veggie field meal ready to go. And now I'm gonna top this with some cheese. And I'm gonna use this Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar Cheese. This is the best cheese ever. I haven't had it in so long. So we're gonna do a serving of this. It'll add some extra protein as well. It'll add seven extra grams. And then I also just picked this up at the store. It looked super good. It is a magnesium and adaptogen infused sparkling water. Recess is the brand and it's um, strawberry rosé. I don't know. I'm going to try this as a little dinner drink. So that is going to be my meal. With the cheese and the chili, the meal is going to come to 464 calories, 36.5 grams of protein, and then the fiber is 10.6 grams, which is amazing. I love that. That is because of the beans and the veggies and all the good stuff in there. So I'm going to assemble my bowl, pour my drink, and then go enjoy my dinner. say that this turkey chili is so simple but so good especially when you put the cheese on top mm. so i accidentally recorded my dessert in slow motion so you can't hear me describing to you guys what it is but it was a slice of pumpkin bread with greek yogurt honey and cinnamon the greek yogurt added an extra 10 grams of protein to my day which was why I added it to the dessert. And then I also had sleepy time tea and that was my full day of eating. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.